Can I crash at your place tonight? Thomas and I got into it. I could use the space. You know I live at Naomi's with Muffin and Eric. Like a hostel? I'm sure there's a room in the Ritz. So you're, what, two weeks into marriage and you're already trying to get out? Something's not clicking with Thomas. He brought me my favorite carbs hidden inside a Louis Vuitton shopping bag. The bastard. And then we realized we never said I love you to each other. So then he said it. I didn't like the way he said it, so I didn't say it back. So this marriage is basically doomed. Basically. I think she was kidding. Mm. I was. Oh. Like, I know you, and I know what you're doing. You're trying to sabotage something that could be good. Or maybe everyone was right all along, and I did something impulsive and dumb, and I should turn back before I can. But you got to try hard. That's all I'm saying. I got to go soon. My dad's in town. I told him I'd join him for Bible study. Hold up. Your mean-ass deacon daddy is in town? Chill. He's my dad. You said he praised the gayness out of gay babies. I'd say that's pretty mean. Parents are complicated. This man raised me. You're 40, not 14. Blood is not a good enough reason to have someone in your life who doesn't treat you with respect. I can't tell him that. Yes, yes you, you can. can. My mom passed about two years ago, and it's not like I've been around very much to help. So your mom died, and he gets to be an asshole? When is the world going to stop making excuses for terrible men? Says the woman who's running away from a man who isn't an asshole.